I'm going to show you how we can output the FT8 or FT4 decode display from this ATS25 uh, Mark Decoder 2 to um, my PC. Now, um, I'm going to use my PC, but you could equally, you could use a tablet or a mobile phone as long as you've got a, a means of connecting the USB at the back of the radio to whatever you're going to decode or whatever you're going to output the decode to. So the first thing we're going to need is, of course, the radio. We've got it there. I've got my PC switched on. Um, now, obviously, we need to connect the two together with a USB lead. Uh, if you're thinking about using the cable that came with a radio, uh, the chances are it won't work. The one that came with this certainly didn't. It didn't have the data pins connected. So you're going to need a USB cable that you know is suitable for programming. It's got the data uh, pins connected. Okay, so I've got the standard USB connector for the PC on this end. And I've got the uh, USB-C. It's going to go into the back of the radio. So, let's get it plugged in. So, obviously, if we look at the back of the radio. Okay, you can see where we're going to plug our USB-C in. I'll just get that plugged in now. And the next thing, obviously, that we're going to do is we're going to plug the out of the other end of this into the PC. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens when we plug this in. So I'm just going to go to a device manager on my PC. open up device manager and uh, we see our com ports here there's a couple in use I'm going to turn the radio on and let it boot up for a second okay and I'm going to plug it into the PC and hopefully you can see now on device manager it's popped up this is it here okay USB serial CH340 COM5 we need to remember COM5 there's something else we need to do as well and if we go to properties we go to port settings you need to make sure this bits per second setting is a uh, 115 200 okay 115 200 that's fine okay we can close device manager now the terminal program i'm going to use for the radio to output its data is called putty it's free to download i'm just happening to use this one because i use it to um, access my raspberry pis if I need to uh, put in any commands or do any updates, I use Putty. We'll just open Putty. Okay, and there's Putty. It's quite a simple, straightforward program. Now, don't worry too much about all these options. If you're using Putty, you just need to go to Serial. You can see it defaults to COM1. We need to change that to COM5. Okay. And remember the speed, 115200, 115200, okay, uh, we can open that, and we've got putty open now. Let's go to our radio, and let's go to um, somewhere where we know there's going to be some signals, hopefully. We're on an external antenna, by the way, um, mainly because... Um, Let's have a look at that, 20 meters. Plenty of FT8 signals there. External antenna mainly because what I've noticed is when you plug a USB connector in the back of this radio, it does up the noise a little bit. 
when you're using a telescopic with the external it's not a problem let's go to um the uh, mode setting here so we go mode we're gonna go digi and we're gonna go ft8 okay and uh, probably just about here the receiver audio we need to turn the volume up a little bit i think so we haven't got much on the display oh it's coming through yeah we should be okay right okay so keep an eye on the screen i'll just bring that up to full size we'll wait and see if we get any decodes here on the radio There's a decode on the radio, and you can see we've also um, we've also got something on the screen. Um, if you see on the top left, there's like a little bit of a gobbledygook, a little bit of nonsense. Don't worry about that. That just seems to happen when you first connect up. But the next line of decode should be kind of clean, if you like. We'll wait for the next decode on the radio, and it will pop up then on the screen. Okay, we've got another couple of lines on the decode, and you can see they're on the radio. They've come up on the screen, okay? So we just needed to adjust the volume. I'll um, zoom in a little bit on the radio itself for you. And you can see that as they appear on the radio, they don't put to the screen. There's another couple there. So if you find the screen a little bit hard to read, you have got that option to output. So there's one more thing I need to show you. I've shown you how to hook it up to the PC, but I'll just uh, take the volume down in case the mic is picking that up, but I, probably not. Right. Um, if we come out of here, before we hook... Before we hook this up to the PC, okay, we're going to need to um, go into the settings. So if we go next there, if we go to setup, um, now on one of these screens, there is the option to output the decode to a COM port. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, we need to have that enabled. Ah, oh, just missed it there. You see there it is on the screen. Okay, decoded data sent to COM port. So we've got to have that enabled. Otherwise, you won't be able to see anything on the screen. You can leave it enabled. It doesn't seem to have any detrimental effect. The, as you'll see, the radio still displays to its screen. Absolutely without a problem, if you've got nothing connected in the back. So switch that on. Download a program like Putty to your PC and just make sure that you've got a USB lead that's got the data lines connected. As I said, the one that came with this particular radio didn't work. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful.